in presentations that you've given today at this meeting and things that you've talked about in with respect to disclosures of conflict of interest, uh, disclosures of other aspects of authorship, things of that nature. Perhaps we can sort of explore conflicts of interest. From a journal perspective, what is a journal looking for the author to disclose? Uh, so for many Asian authors, it may they, they see this term conflict of interest. They see a request to disclose conflict of interest. They may not really understand what is expected of them to disclose. Perhaps we can explore this a little bit. What are you looking for as a journal when you're asking an author to, di to disclose and explore their conflicts of interest? Well, the whole idea of conflict of interest has developed uh, over the years, and it's now reached a point of sophistication in the West uh, that pretty much it's, it's expected that an author would provide information about if there was any assistance uh, regarding the writing of the article, and certainly if the author was involved in any way with the, uh, uh, the manufacture of the medicines or devices described in that article. Now this took many years to develop and not all of the world has uh, achieved that same degree of comfort with this. But I want to reassure any of our potential authors from Asia that this is not a pejorative or bad thing. We just want to know for the sake of transparency what relationships the authors have had with uh, potential agencies that where uh, there may be the perception of a conflict. So and it'll be up to uh, the, the editors and the readers to figure out if it's important or not. So list for me, list for the authors, three or four typical conflicts of interest that you would expect to see if they exist. Well, number one, if there was any editorial assistance in the writing of the article, that must be disclosed because it'll be entirely obvious if the article is written in perfect English and it's coming from uh, a country where English is not the first language, the first thing in my mind is, well, who helped? And I have to know who helped. Uh, the second type of uh, potential conflict of interest is what relationships do the authors have with the manufacturers of the drugs or devices that are described in that article. It's not necessarily a bad thing, uh, but it must be disclosed. But not only that, uh, there's another step that's necessary in that uh, the author should disclose what relationships they have with other companies that make similar uh, agents or devices. So it's best if authors just disclose everything. It, it just makes it a lot easier and there's no back and forth about, well, is there any additional uh, disclosures that you need to make and, and so on. So if it's all set out right at the very beginning, it, did anyone help with the uh, creation of the manuscript, with the statistical analyses, any outside help, any outside funding, and uh, any companies uh, that make uh, any uh, therapies in medicine or devices for medicine that the authors may have any relationship with, just disclose it. And then that takes care of a, a lot of the issues that we have. And, and to reinforce the disclosure of help that has been received, I'll, I'll point out it isn't a bad thing. You, to, to be able to, to, to show initially that in fact you have reached out to receive help because of English second language needs, editorial assistance, may actually make your paper look more attractive to the peer reviewer or to the, um, to the editorial selection process because they know that this paper is coming in, they know that it has been reviewed, they know that the English now is likely well written and it can meet some of the uh, standardized journal criteria regarding instructions for authors and things of this nature. Uh, so the disclosure of uh, editorial systems, the, the disclosure of help in any regard is not a uh, is not something that people should hesitate to disclose. This actually makes their case a lot better that this manuscript is going to be a better written manuscript. Absolutely. Getting outside support with someone's English is a good thing. And uh, disclosure of that is, is a good thing too. Uh, so if someone whose language is uh, first language is not English. It is very difficult to uh, create a manuscript that is up to the standards of an English uh, language journal. So it makes perfect sense to get some help. 